Hello everyone, today we have very fresh kit from Edward. As you can see it's a special edition which is called Vietnam Scooters. Um, this is A4 in 148 scale and this kit packs the plastic from Hasegawa and decals from Furbo Design. Uh, also as you can see uh, it's packed into this quite typical for Profi Packs box. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Uh, on the sides we find all marking options that are included into the kit so as you can see there are six of them and here as you can see it's written that decals were made by, by football iron design uh, here is written some information about the kit contents so masks, P, some resin parts are included you will see it further in the review and here is some more information about the kit uh, just give me a second to focus the camera. So we have, of course, P parts, masks included, cartograph printed decals, and also Edward Brassin seals included into the package. <coughs> uh, this is quite typical top opening box. Let's open it. And what we see inside, as you can see, Hasegawa plastic screws, which are packed into one bag, by the way. And then comes all the stuff from Edward. So let's check first uh, plastic spruce because we didn't review uh, Hasegawa A4. Moreover, it's interesting to see the quality of this kit. Eduard already cooperated with uh, Hasegawa. Uh, they made Bundesfi Bundesfighter and NATO fighter, which included obviously star fighters. So this time it's a slightly different model which is nevertheless very interesting for fans of US aviation. So first we have here uh, some small part, I will show it in the back. I think there is no need to open the back because it's possible to see it even through the back. So this small part. Then we have transparent screw. Just give me a second, I will open the back which in which this frame is packed. At least transparent sprue is packed separately as you can see so you don't have to worry about uh, those tender parts being scratched or damaged accidentally. Uh, so here we have canopy parts. As you can see they are crisp and clear almost as a real glass, so no worries about the quality of this. Moreover, they will be uh, covered with Edward masks, so you will be able to achieve quite nice result in your model. Uh, then comes sprue with fuselage halves, as you can see those are quite huge, and they are molded together with tail segment and with rudder, as you can see here. Of course, both parts feature recess panel lines and driving, and I have to say that detailization is quite impressive. Here is another half. And note that nose cone is also molded integrally, so we will have to send it carefully in order not to damage it accidentally. Uh, inside we have just minor cockpit detailization and also special slots for the exhaust tubes and also here you can see air brakes which are also quite nicely molded next we have a uh, sprue with uh, engine intake part here you can see it is molded as this complex shaped part uh, what else? Some fuselage parts. Uh, dashboard which won't be used obviously. I think you will have to send it down in order to install P parts. Uh, here you can see engine nozzles. And here is the cockpit base which also will have to be modified in order to be upgraded with P parts. Mm, by the way, note here is that engine uh, cockpit base is molded together with wheel wells. So, and this 
it's a front of course one and this part feature very nice detailization I will focus the camera even closer so that you can see it very nice then we have another sprue uh, this one has uh, seat parts here you can see them then winding gear front one as you can see it's molded together with uh, winding gear leg and molding quality is quite nice even the tender parts are placed here for example this uh, I think it's also in the winding gear element and also even we have here a leather which is made from the plastic of course it will be mentioned in the Edward manual as an unused part but those who would like to use it they will be able to use it of course uh, then we have two similar sprues as you can see here and I will bring to the focus only one so we have here pylons, uh, external tank some other minor, minor elements as well as tail wings and winding gear wheels which have one side of the hub molded separately I hope that Edward also included masks for these parts too um, next we have one sprue which contains a uh, bottom wing hub here you can see it together with wheel wells detailization recess panel lines flaps are molded separately but ailerons are molded integrally and then some other minor elements I guess those are front sweats which are also molded separately inside there is nothing interesting I guess there will be yes there will be positioning pins used so you don't have to worry about proper alignment of those parts another sprue contains uh, air intake parts as you can see those are molded as one piece so you will have just to install them on the model and another um, part with wing parts here you can see them, here is the uh, flaps and those are top wing parts again recess panel lines and drive it in included so they should look good after careful painting I guess then we have uh, resin seats actually as all resin parts in Edward are called brassins so those are brassins also just give me a second to get them out of the bag so they are packed separately into a separate bag and here you can see the part it's molded as one piece as you can see and obviously it's much better than original alternative and here is another part which is also molded as a separate one piece element Then we have assembly menu. Assembly menu is quite typical for the Edward products. So on the front page we have some short history of the airplane, written in English only. Uh, then we have parts map. As you can see, some parts won't be used. So you will have some elements left in the your stash. And then assembly process starts. Everything is explained with help of the traditional Edward schemes. By the way, as you can see, Edward shows that uh, the sweater can be used. So you can have aircraft together with the sweater. Here is masks application guide. Note that wheels will be covered with masks. And also you will, you will need a liquid mask. And then painting guide starts. As usual, it's very uh, informative so you have all the symbols, all the colors mentioned, decals and I guess yes on the last page we have stenciling positions which is also quite useful 
then we have uh, masks as I said they will be used for the canopy and for the wheels and we have one small PE thread which is pre-painted and it includes both uh, cockpit and external parts so this resin, uh, this resin seat will look even better with those PE belts and of course you will upgrade uh, dashboard of the aircraft and last but not the least is a huge uh, deco sheet which is as usual printed in cartograph so just give me a second to open it as you saw it's packed into the separate bag so it won't be scratched, it won't be damaged and just a second please hard to get it out of the bag but nevertheless here we have it so here is the decal sheet as you can see it's quite huge and there is only one included so all symbols are featured here as you can see it's written that it's printed in by cartograph limited edition blah 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 and we have even stenciling here Note that all symbols are assigned, uh, have assigned numbers, but there is no division on the sheet, so you have to guess which symbol you need in this or other marking option, which you choose. So that's all for today. Uh, as for the kit, I think it's quite nice, but don't forget to check full review article on our website. And as usual, I would like to recommend you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Facebook group. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching once again and see you soon.